In 2020, there's no reason to not be booting from a solid state drive. Whether you have a newer computer with an M.2 slot on the motherboard, or an older one where you can install a SATA SSD, you're going to see a huge increase in performance by doing so. So if you've been considering installing a solid state drive in your computer, or you're wondering more about how to do it, I would encourage you to stick around to the end of this video because I'm going to cover everything that you need to know. So on the market now, there are three major categories of storage available for your computer. You've got traditional hard drives, which have been around for a very long time, SATA solid state drives, and the newer NVMe solid state drives. SATA solid state drives have approximately a four times improvement in speed over a regular hard drive, while their newer NVMe counterparts have approximately a 35 times improvement in speed over your traditional hard drive. With these speed increases, it will greatly benefit your workflow to upgrade your current hard drive to a solid state drive. So you may be asking, what size hard drive do I need and what should I actually install on the SSD? For one, you should absolutely install Windows. This is gonna greatly decrease the time that it takes to boot up your computer. Second, you may have only this SSD installed, a second traditional hard drive, or another additional solid state drive. So if you're a gamer, I would recommend installing any games that you have room for onto your SSD. Additionally, if you don't have room for all of your games, the most important games to install on the SSD are ones with heavy loading times when you boot up the game at the start, or those that require loading throughout your gameplay. If you're doing video editing or music production, I would recommend installing these programs to the SSD as they're going to work faster. Then any videos or music files that you're currently working on, you can have saved to your SSD and then move to more permanent storage when they're complete. So at this point, you may be wondering what type of SSD to install on your computer. Only newer computers that have an M.2 slot are going to be capable of running a faster and newer NVMe SSD. Almost any older computer is going to have the ability to run a SATA SSD, as well as any newer computer. The second thing you're going to want to consider is the cost of the drive. So for one terabyte of storage, a traditional hard drive is going to cost around $50, a SATA SSD is going to cost around $100, and an NVMe SSD is going to cost around $150. You'll have to evaluate what your budget is for this particular purchase. So I've actually just purchased and installed a new M.2 NVMe SSD in my computer. I'll show a few pictures of what the installation process looks like. It's very simple. And next, I'm going to walk you through the entire process of configuring that hard drive in your system. All right, guys, so at this point, we've got the SSD installed on our computer. And what we're going to go ahead and do is format it. Um, we're going to do this through the disk management utility in Windows. Um, we're only going to need to do this if we're either using our SSD as a second hard drive and we're not going to be booting from it, or if we're going to be cloning our existing drive that's already in our computer to our solid state drive so that we can retain our installation of Windows and all of our files and use our new SSD as our boot drive. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna open the disk management utility. Um, you should get something pop up that says to initialize disk, disk one. So this is the new SSD that I just installed. Um, it's gonna give you an option of what kind of partition you want to uh, use for the selected disk. You're gonna to choose GPT. Um, that's a better, it's a better partition type for Windows 10. So click OK. And then this is the hard drive that I'm running my computer off currently um, that I have Windows installed on. This is the hard drive that we just installed. Uh, so currently this is unallocated. We're going to right click on it and select new simple volume. And click next. Uh, it's going to tell us the volume size, click next, and then it's going to let us assign a, dr a letter to the drive. D is fine. Uh, my current SSD is C, as that's the default that Windows installs your 
uh, single drive app. Click next. Format this volume with the following settings. File system, NFTS, allocation unit size. We're gonna do default. Um, we're not formatting this into multiple different partitions. Volume label, new volume, that's fine. And then quick format, click next and finish. So now our new volume's formatted. We can go to our file explorer. And if we go to this PC, um, we can see the current drive that I have installed that's got my Windows installation and all of my files. And then our new hard drive with nothing on it. Um, and so we can go ahead and at this point, we can use a cloning utility to clone our existing C drive over to this D drive, um, or we can just use this D drive as storage for games or videos or um, whatever applications we wanna put on that drive. So now I've got our new SSD formatted. If we want to clone our existing hard drive that's already in our PC onto our new SSD um, to use this as our new boot drive, uh, then we're going to need some sort of cloning software. There's many different options that are available for free on the internet. This is just one I found called Eesus to do backup home. I'll put a link down in the description for this one, um, but feel free to use whatever you'd like. So within this software, um, there's a clone option, and it's going to ask us which hard drive we want to clone from. So we're going to clone from hard disk zero which is the SSD that's currently got Windows and all of my files on it. Click Next. And we're gonna clone this hard drive to our new SSD, uh, which is hard disk one. And if you're not sure which hard drive is which, you can always go back into the disk management utility to confirm. We'll click Next. And then if we want to actually copy this entire drive over to our new SSD, we'd click Proceed. I'm not gonna be doing that. Um, but if you want to use your new solid state drive as your boot drive, which I would definitely recommend if you're currently running a hard drive as your boot drive, um, this is the process that you'd go through. So whether you just cloned your existing hard drive onto your new SSD, or you're gonna be doing a fresh install of Windows on your new SSD, you're gonna need to access the BIOS of your computer. To get into the BIOS, you're gonna need to either refer to the manufacturer of the motherboard in your custom PC, or to your computer's manual. But basically you're gonna restart your computer and you're gonna hold down a keyboard button while it's restarting to get into your BIOS. So I'm gonna walk you through how I would do that through my specific computer now. Um, your case is gonna be a little bit different, but the process will overall be the same. So my computer's turned off now, I'm gonna turn it back on. To get into my BIOS, I'm going to hit the delete button repeatedly while the computer's booting up. Your computer might be different, so you need to refer to your manual. So once you're in your BIOS, you're going to want to find the section that's titled boot sequence. This is going to be the order that your computer tries to boot to the various hard drives that you installed. In the first slot, I have a USB drive. This is what you would have plugged into your computer if you're doing a fresh installation of Windows onto your new SSD. In the second spot is my existing hard drive, which contains my current installation of Windows and all my other files. In the third slot is our new SSD. If you're gonna be installing a new installation of Windows, you're gonna want the USB to be in the first slot. When you go through the Windows installation process, you can choose the new hard drive to install Windows onto. If you just made a copy of your existing SSD or hard drive onto the new SSD, you're gonna to wanna to move the new SSD to the first slot in the boot sequence. In my case, I'm not doing either of these. I'm still booting from the same hard drive that Windows is currently installed on, so I'm not doing any modification to my BIOS. Guys, that's really it. My new SSD is installed. So because this is primarily a gaming channel, for all you gamers out there, I'm gonna show you how to move your Steam games between different hard drives. This can be done when you're first installing the game or at any point after the game is installed. So you can see my new hard drive is installed as new volume D at the bottom left. 
And then I just went ahead and I made some different directories within this volume for music, photos, videos, lots of files that take up a lot of space, as well as games. So if you go into Steam and go into your library, you're going to go to Settings, and then you're going to go to your Downloads, and then you're going to see at the top Steam Library Folders. So if you click on that, you can add a library folder. Go to the top drop down. I'm going to go to my D drive and I'm going to select this games folder. So now I've got a second directory where I can install Steam games within my same computer that's on a different hard drive. I'm going to hit close. Currently, all of my games are installed to my C drive. So I'm going to show you how to move this single game uh, to a second drive. So right click on the game. I'm going to go to properties. And then under local files, you're going to see move install folder. So if I click that, I'm going to be able to move the game, which is currently on my C drive over to my new D games drive. And that's it. If you guys found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. And as always, I'll have links down in the description for all the products that we discussed in this video as well as some other tutorial videos that I found helpful on this subject. If you guys want to hang out with me after, you can find me playing video games over on Twitch on Tuesdays and Sundays.